Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shellcraft One and my old barn door, and we're back working in our lap book. And I want to do something kind of a little bit different today. Um, in our little envelope flip out, we pretty much got everything done um, except for this. Um, and I wanted something on the back of this envelope, but I want something different. I want it to be you know, a different kind of an element. So, I kind of racked my little brain, which is, you know, a task at times. So, <laughs> but I have, I had, I have these, okay. I've been saving these for a long time. And they're just like the little bags that you get, um, sheets or pillowcases or, you know, some type of bed linen or something like, or a curtain. And um, I just thought it would be super cool to try and make some kind of a pocket on this um, with this. So that's what we're going to do today. I've never done it before. <laughs> this may be a complete fiasco, but we're going to try it and see what we can come up with. Okay, so basically I'm going to cut the bottom out of this little bag. Okay, so I'm just going to snip here. And give myself a little spot to get my scissors into. There we go. And we're just going to cut this bottom piece away. I mean, this is good plastic, you know, so you can make all kinds of things with this plastic. All right. There we go. Maybe I can get, I'm not worried, too worried about getting it straight. Okay. Ooh, I almost cut my envelopes. We should probably move this out of the way. But I need to kind of measure it. Okay. So basically what I'm trying to get is this plastic that's in here. Um, but now that I look at this, this is stamped made in China, bag made in China. And it's got something on it, so we won't use this piece. So let's just take us a little piece of this. Let me see. Maybe we can take the sides. Again, I'm just playing and um, winging this, so y'all bear with me. <laughs> I don't want to go all the way to the top because I don't think I need it all the way to the top. And I have an idea of what I want to do with this, but that'll be at a later date. And I'm not worried about it being perfectly straight or anything right now. Let's see. All right, so we're going to need to trim that down a little. I'm just going to put a little snip in there so that I know where to trim it because I'm going to straighten it up on the um, on my trimmer. Okay, and then I need another piece that is about the same size. So we're going to go this way. They stick together good. And then we're going to go right up through here. Okay, and now we're finished with this for now. All right, so we have our two pieces. And I'm just going to um, trim them up and straighten them up. Um, and stitch them together real quick. And I'm only going to stitch three sides. So, um, I'm trying to decide... I think I'm going to do a shaker pocket out of this and make it a shaker, um, but I'm trying to decide if I want to put a paper behind it to stitch it to.
anyways let me trim it up and I'll think about it while I'm trimming it and I'll be right back okay I've got it trimmed up and I found a piece of um, the Tim Holtz paper that I think I want to go in behind it and the pur purpose of having the paper in behind it is so that it gives me something to glue down to the envelope because I don't like gluing the plastic and then you can see the glue through the plastic so I'm going to stitch this together on three sides um, but before I stitch it together I need to um, I'm just trying to gauge what I'm doing here because it's going to have to be stitched together once I put the goodies inside the shaker top tag. Um, it's going to have to be stitched together, so I'm just trying to wrap my brain around um, how I need to do this. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stitch this side this side and this side and I'm gonna leave this end open okay um, in the plastic I'm just trying to think here for a second all right so here's how it's gonna have to happen <laughs> I'll get this together in a second. I didn't pre-plan this, so y'all bear with me. The first stitch that I'm gonna make is I'm going to move the paper and I'm going to sew all the way down um, this line on this side. So we're gonna pull this over to be even with this. I don't mind having this sticking out just a little. So. The first stitch line I'm going to make is just the plastic. I'm just going to stitch the plastic. Should I just bring the sewing machine over here and just show y'all? It might be easier that way. I was trying to avoid having to move the whole darn thing, but let me just do that. Hold on a second. <laughs> okay. I think this will be a little easier to show you. Alright, so I have my sewing machine over here, and I'm just going to put it on... A straight stitch okay so I'm going to take these two pieces of plastic and I'm going to stitch this side together okay so I'm going to back stitch there a little bit just to make sure it's got a good hold okay Speed it up just a little. And we're going to back stitch here. I always like to back stitch on the corners just to make sure that I have a good. Um, a good hold for you know because you're going to be putting things in and out of the pocket okay so now we have our two pieces of plastic stitched together on the right side okay now we're going to bring our paper up and we're going to just kind of line that up at the top here And then I am going to trim off this bottom piece of the paper. I'm trying to do this where y'all can see what I'm doing, <laughs> but where I can see what I'm doing at the same time. Okay, <clears throat> so now we're going to take it, <clears throat> excuse me. And we're going to stitch the paper to the side here and to the side here, okay? And we're going to leave this side open for a minute. But see how this side is not stitched to the paper? This is going to be the pocket, okay? So hopefully you're, you can kind of get the gist of what I'm attempting to do here. All right, so we're just going to do a straight stitch on this side. Back stitch.
these are really not that hard to do. It's just been a while since I've done them, and so it took my brain a minute to think about, okay, what do I need to do here? <laughs> Sorry for my arm being in the way, but okay. So we've got that side stitched on, see? And then we're gonna do this side the same way. We're gonna go ahead and stitch this side. I know the lighting's not great, but I think you can see okay. All right, so we're gonna back stitch here. You want to make sure that your plastic is smooth and there are no wrinkles in it while you're sewing. We're going to back stitch here. Okay. Now, now we have a pocket and we had to leave this side open so that we can put our goodies in here so we're gonna put our goodies inside the plastic part okay and then when we stitch this down it will close the plastic part and make um, the bottom stitch to the paper so it will be a closed pocket okay so let me um, let me grab the goodies that we're gonna put in here and I'll come right back okay hopefully you can see okay all right, so I've pulled out some buttons and I decided I wanted a ball pin in there too because you know what? It doesn't just have to be sequins in a shaker card. And then I decided I want some little bits of trims, maybe some of these vintage laces. Um, this is like a vintage eyelet. So I'm going to cut a little piece of that to go in there. And then I love this little piece and so I thought I would cut a little bit of this because it's very vintage it's handmade so we'll put a piece of that in there and then I wanted some you know some kind of um, industrial type elements so we'll add some of that I have this little piece of lace and I think I'm gonna cut it in half just to have little bitty bits and pieces of it showing and I might even I haven't decided yet uh, but I might even use some cheesecloth in it. We'll play with it and see um, what it's going to look like. So we have those. And then I have some sequins. So I have these sequins and then these sequins. So we're going to pick a few of, of these. Um, I like these that have like the wood look. They almost look like they're a wood grain. Can y'all see that okay? If it's going to focus. There we go. Sorry about that. Um, so I thought we could use a few of those. So I'm going to put a little bit of those in there. Not too many. Okay. And then let me make sure I get this on correctly. I don't want to have them spilling everywhere. And then these are like just little gray ones. Gray, kind of like a grayish tan sequin. And I think those would look good in there. Because it's kind of going with neutral colors, um, you know, sort of with the neutral palette, even though it does have the reds and the blues, you know, and some greens. So, and really and truly, there's really not a thing to this lap book. It's just whatever I can decide to put in here. So, and then I have some of these cream colored sequins. So I thought we could put a few of those in there. And these are a bigger type of sequin. Okay, we got some static. <laughs> it's sticking to me. Okay. So we've got kind of the neutral colors in there. Oops. And then I kind of wanted to add some of these rust colored ones um, just to add a little something. So let's put a few of these. That's really more like gold, so I don't want a whole bunch of those. I don't really know that I want the gold, but I've already put them in there now. And we're not taking them out. Okay, here's the ones I was going for. So they've kind of got this reddish rust color to it. And I thought those would be cool in there. So we'll put those. And then the very bottom, here's the rust ones. The rust colored ones. Oops, and I just spilled them everywhere. So we'll put those in there. Okay. 
Okay. See if we can get these off of here without spilling them everywhere. There we go. Okay. So I think we're ready to put everything in our pocket. Okay. So now I'm going to make sure this is the pocket that we're going to use as an actual pocket. And so I have the two pieces of plastic here and I'm just going to split the two pieces of plastic. Okay. So I'm putting all of these goodies in between the two pieces of plastic. So let's just go ahead and start putting them in there. And I'm just going to kind of spread them around. I'm going to put my little piece of lace in there. And I'm going to kind of, because this is going to be more of a flat shaker, I'm going to try and make sure I'm laying this lace the right direction. I don't guess it matters. Okay, so my pocket's a little staticky. All right. And I'm spilling sequins. Okay, so let's just and then we'll drop that little piece of lace in there. Let me see how this um, cheesecloth is going to look in here. Okay, I don't know what's going on with the camera. I'm sorry it's not focusing right. I apologize for that. I'm hoping that it wasn't like that the whole ding dang time. Okay. So we're going to put this little piece in over here. Can't forget our buttons. So we're going to add our buttons. We'll add this piece over here. All right, and then we're just going to kind of, I'm just going to kind of shake the rest of these into there because I think that will be easier. And I think we only need one piece of cheesecloth. Okay. And then we've got our bulb pin in there, and I like it. I, I think I like it. What do y'all think? All right, so once you get everything you want to have inside um, your plastic sleeve or your plastic pocket, I'm going to turn this over. Then you can sew everything shut, okay? So I'm going to, let me just turn the camera where you can see again. And I'm going to scoop my, whoops, I'm going to scoop my sewing machine up a little. Hopefully you'll be able to see it okay. Alright, and then we're just going to sew everything shut. And we're just going to do it with a straight stitch again. stitch and you want to make sure you keep all of your elements that are in the pocket kind of downwards until you get finished sewing stitch this time uh, or on this side okay so now hang on and let me move everything around okay so now you can see we have our cute little shaker pocket with our buttons and our bulb pin and all kinds of goodies in there okay so now we can attach this. I almost don't want to attach it to that envelope. And the reason I don't want to attach it to that envelope is because I want you to be able to shake it when you get it, whoever gets it. So let me just, let me pull my book over here and let's just rethink this for a second. <laughs> can y'all tell I'm flying by the seat of my pants? That's okay though. All right, so let's just open this up and see what we think. So see if we attach this here, then it would be a pocket here. You could make it a pocket here or a pocket at the top or even a pocket on this side if you wanted to. And then you have your envelope pocket. I guess it would be okay, you know. I mean, I... I want you to be able to shake it, but you can kind of move your envelope and shake it. So I guess we're good to go with that. All right. So let me grab my scissors. We're just going to trim off our strings. 
a little. It doesn't have to be all the way trimmed because I kind of like the strings. Okay. And I, and I do think I want to make the back side a pocket here. So the way we're going to need to glue it in is... Where's my glue? We're going to glue here. Here. And here. Okay. Let's see how this works. I zoom in just a little for you. Do it this way. Nope, it goes this way. Yep. Okay, so now I just kind of want to center it on my envelope. Just like that. And we're smooshing glue out because I put a lot of glue on that. <laughs> Imagine that. I put too much glue on something. Okay, we're going to let this dry for just a minute, and I'm going to take my sweatshirt off because I'm getting hot. Hang on. Okay, I think we're dry now. So now we have our shaker card. So it's a pocket here and a pocket in behind here, and then you have the pocket here. Super cute. I'm excited. So while we have this open, let's just go ahead and stuff all of our envelopes and pockets and things like that and put some goodies in. And that way we'll be completely finished um, with this section. So let's see. Now, my idea is to put some things in here that whoever gets the journal can play with and um, use to decorate inside their journal and things. So um, why not, since... Um, I have these out. I think I'm going to tuck these little pieces of fabrics in a pocket or maybe an envelope. Let's tuck them in this envelope here. And that way, whoever gets the journal will have something fun to play with. And let's put something in behind there. Mm -hmm. I know. I have some of these little book pages that you can make tags out of. And this one you can use for collage. So, and I think that will fit. So let's lay these on top of this and that way they know. Can y'all even see what I'm doing? <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm such a dork. Okay, so we're going to take it down in this little brown envelope down here. And that way they have some goodies to play with whenever they get their journal. There we go. I think I need to put this in something. Ah, oh, let's do this. Hey, hey. Let's put them inside this, and that way it's not so hard for whoever gets it to get them in and out of the envelope. Use your brain, Diane. Use your brain. Oh, that fits perfect in that envelope. Look how cute that is. Okay, good deal. So now they can just pull this out, and when they open it up, they can get to their little lace pieces. Okay, so we got something in there. We need something for this pocket. So let's see, what do we have for this pocket? Let me scoot the camera back down some so I can scoot my book down some. There we go. All right. So that's too big. I have some, let's just look and see. I have a whole little stack of um, goodies here that I wanted to use in this journal. I guess that's just a, a backer piece. These are too big for that pocket, though, so let's find some smaller ones. My friend Sarah sent this to me, so let's see what's in here. There's all kinds of goodies in here. Nice. Very nice. Okay, 
That's pretty too. And I'm even going to use the envelope. <laughs> Super cute. I looked at these um, when she first sent them, but it's been a minute. These are adorable. Oh my goodness. How stinking cute are these? Let's tuck one of those down in there. I like the white, it kind of pops. So we'll just tuck in some goodies to play with. Those really don't match. But this one, no, well, we already have one of those. That's cool. Aw, memory becomes a treasure. She's cute. Do we want to put her in there? She's kind of a little too big. Let's see what this one is. Oh, she's pretty too. Oh, she works. Okay, so we'll put that in there. Let's see what else we have in here real quick. Super cute little pieces. Oh my goodness, how stinking cute is he? These are adorable. <laughs> That's adorable. That's got to go in here somewhere. <laughs> These are so cute. Oh, look, it's a Valentine one. I love these Saturday evening post ones. These are great, Sarah. Thank you. Awesome. <laughs> He's reading somebody's diary. <laughs> That's great. And he's hiding because he don't want to go to church. That's too funny. Okay. All right. So I'm going to keep these stacked up over here because we're going to use them. Okay. Let's see. Um, so this is going to be the, this will be the outer pocket. It'll go kind of like that. Okay. So um, we've got something in this pocket so we just need something to go in this pocket and I think nope, nope, nope. where did that little piece go that I had here we go I think I want that in that pocket like that okay and then I have some vintage book page pieces that would be fun to make um, tags and things like that out of. So let's put that in here. There we go. And I'm just going to pull that out so that they know. Whoever gets this knows that there's something in there. Okay, so we've got something in that pocket, something in this pocket. Now we need something for these. And let's see. I have these. Got something hanging out on the side over here. Oh, those are the um, fabric tags that I made a long time ago. Okay, so let's pick some of these Tim Holtz pieces because I'm, I'm liking the Tim Holtz stuff for, for some reason. Okay, let's put this one in here so they know that that's a pocket. Actually, I like this one. Let's do this one. Lo I'm loving the greens. And my stitching is green, so that kind of matches really good with that. Okay, and then this one can go here in this pocket. Perfect. Okay. Now then. Scoot these over so we can open to this pocket. We need something in this pocket. I want something vintage in this pocket. Um, I know. Why don't we just give whoever gets this. Let's give them some of this vintage... Um, newspaper so 
we're going to try and fold this piece up to where it fits into this. Let's see, let's see if we can do it in thirds. Let's do it this way. Okay, so if we do it this way, and then this way, because basically they're probably just going to use this for collage, so it doesn't matter if it's folded. And then we'll fold it this way. And I'm not creasing it hard, which it'll probably go on and crease pretty good once, um, you know, once I close the book up. But and I want to leave it to where the date shows. So let's tuck this piece right into this envelope, right there. And then I want something else to go in there with that. So let's see what do we have. We could do the birds. That would be cool with the birds peeking out. Yep, let's do that. Okay, I like the birds. Or actually, let's do this map. I think that'll go better. Try not to put too many things in here because, you know, you have to be careful with your book. Okay, so that can go in there and then we need something inside this envelope. Let's just tuck. Well, we can put the birds in this envelope since it's a bird envelope. Let's just do that. That works. Okay. Put him back. Wait, how did we have him? I think we had him like that, didn't we? Okay. So put that back. And then I had added this, and it's a little pocket right here. So let's find a little. Oh, look. That'd be cute. Tucked down in there, just like that. And then maybe one of these little little pieces poking out and look this is little um it's a little spanish dictionary page it's a double page how stinking cute are those so let's put some of that down in there i like it okay and then we'll just i'm gonna put that just poking out just to give it a little pop of color right there okay so let's take a peek and see what we've got so far have this pocket we've got something in that pocket we have something in that pocket that's not a pocket we have something in all of these pockets we've got something in that pocket something in that pocket and something in both of these pockets so we are good to go with this one this one is all done and I actually really like the way it turned out okay so we're just going to tie this up and call this a video I don't even know where we're at in our time I'm probably gone over so anyways thank you so much for watching please let me leave any comments or questions that you have in the comment box below don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you will and I'll see you in the next video big hugs